One of the nice things playing out of the rough is you can play short of this flagstick net and get it to release. He just, one of the other challenges is how hard is it going to come out? And that ball just didn't come out for him at all. Made a bunch of these right. yesterday. Are you kidding? Oh, boy. Come in. He made a handful of long par putts yesterday. Today, he had a little bit of everything today. Oh, this is disgusting looking. Oh, this is scary. So easy to leave this ball 25, 30 feet short. And it's not easy to do that. That's really well judged. Placing wedges every week and have 56 degree wedges that are bent to 54. And it is a real science, the short game now. Oh, and you can dial in how much bounce you want on the back of those wedges, Ned. And you know, for a long bunker shot like that, it's nice to not have too much bounce. Oh, look at that ball break right straight away. Champ. Oh. The three wooden is losing it to the right a little bit. Down the hill. But as Dennis said earlier, this putt just is not quite as fast as you might guess. It looks fast just sitting here, Ned, doesn't it? Well, just the back of the green, everything runs away from you also. Get there. Get there. Get there. Oh. Hated it, right? It never had a chance and he knew it. Mickelson, cloaked in blue in the shadows. You can see his shoes. Got the big driver out on number three. I wonder how he decides, Ned. Get this little two wood looking thing. Oh, that has been pushed way down there. A little two woodish driver on number one. Boy, the Callaway folks must have just had a ball with Phil messing around with the clubs, the putters, designing stuff. They got to. They, they just have to love trying to figure stuff out for him. Mm, that oh, might be leaking. Oh. Yeah, he didn't like it. He... That's the gallery scattering, and it looked like it has run even further off to the right. So this is Siwoo for par. Remember, we didn't know where his drive went. It hit a tree, thought maybe it had gone out of bounds. He got it to the front bunker, splashed it out, and couldn't get that one down. Looked like half that ball was hanging over the lip there. This is to hold off a par bogey bogey start. This is for par for Homa. Well, solid. You like the iron play? I do, and I think John's going to try to turn this from right to left, setting up in that left side of that tee box. That's going to start out to the right. Got a better chance of staying in the fairway, Ned. We talked about how this is a reverse camber fairway, so hole goes left, or, uh, right to left, fairway goes left to right. Well done. Got the better of Brant Snedeker earlier today, didn't it? Yeah, and that quadruple bogey is going to send Brant home, I'm afraid. Bogey the last, didn't he? Two under three putted the last, and two under par is not going to make this cut. Not going to be around for this weekend of this championship.
If you needed a commercial for Napa for a reason to come out here, it's a pretty good place to start. The fourth tee at Silverado. Look at that hillside up there. Spectacular. You know, we've seen some players in our feature groups that really get stung by some of these shorter par fours out here. The, the 17th, the 8th, and the 4th just took a bite out of Brad Snedeker's plans for a weekend and cashing a check this week. Textbook. As we say that, we've got all three players in this featured grouping. Champ. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, the gallery appreciated it. I'm not sure Cameron is going to. Massive oaks. I think Kevin Twain's hanging out in the same hood that. Uh, Cameron Champ's coming from, and uh -oh. not a pretty place. That ball got up very fast. Somehow, he put that ball on the green. What? <laughs> How did he do that? I, I'm, I'm wondering, is that his ball? That, yes, it was his ball, and I have no idea how it got there. I don't think he does either. Just 110 yards left. So let's see if Phil takes something, knocks it down a little bit, and skips it back there. Yeah, that abbreviated finish would tell you that, right? Even the best have to be a little bit defensive here at the third, but it's still a birdie look for Phil. Cameron Champ at the third. If this ball moved to his right, oh. hold it. Let's see what Max Homa can do from the middle of the fairway. A little bit of a pull, but very I give it ball up in the air and carry that front bunker. I mean, yeah, you want to make this, but it's kind of like grand larceny if he does. He'd be happy with four after that tee shot. So there's a good look at that putter we talked about. A little bit extra length, a little longer grip. Now he can choke up, get where he feels comfortable, and still pin it up against his arm. I love how he uses this little forward press. Right now it's not up against his arm, and watch as he moves forward. Now it is. Look, and that grip, hit, that handle end's disappeared. It's locked in against that forearm. Still amazing that on the 71st hole at Kiowa on the PGA Championship, he had to make that three, three and a half foot bogey putt. And he hadn't been going to the sitting down in a little bit of a dimple and the claw allowed him to create more loft. I think he was clear in his mind what he was wanting to do. Impressive. So is that. Really impressive. Oh, that's the first shot. Well, get probably shouldn't have, but I'm with you. It was pretty harmless. Looked like four all the way over there, didn't it? Matt? Yeah, of oh, course it did. Most. Kevin DePaul doesn't look too bad for Rom. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And one thing that stood out to me, he, he was talking, um, it was a practice round, three or four holes, he was talking about one yard draw and two yard fades. And he didn't play well that week and he doesn't have a terrific re record in some of the bigger events. I just wonder if maybe at times he, he doesn't try to be too good, too perfect. Yeah, you know, Ned, as you know, as a great player in your own right, that puts a lot of pressure on someone if that's what the expectation is and that's what you're seeing and you know what shot you're selecting and what you're trying to execute and you know that if you're not doing it it's not a great thing. I just kind of was a glimpse into the, are, is that what he thinks you need to win the Players Championship and the FedEx Cup champ on don't think he liked it. Yeah. Well, this is straight up the hill. We haven't seen a putt from this direction all day long, Ned. Superb stuff from Si Wu. Bounce back birdie. Absolutely. We saw him make kind of a sloppy double bogey coming in yesterday. Otherwise, a lot of good play from Si Wu Kim. Now, Phil looking like he's going to hook this ball off the hillside. I can understand that play, Ned. That, that ball coming for him left to right has zero chance of staying in the fairway, right? That was odd. You're right. It was. You could almost tell that he didn't believe it either. Yeah, it was kind of an ill conceived from the beginning. Just inside of four feet. Oh, I love this view. This ball should start just around the left edge, maybe just inside. I, I thought he. I thought he had made it. It's hard to tell the speed from that. Right. From that uh, perspective. You better bring your lunch pail when you show up on the fourth tee. You got to do some work here to earn your four. And this is one of those short holes that you just don't pay a whole lot of attention to. To so our feet. Siwoo on the par five, the fifth. I feel like our camera guys are just kind of rubbing it in now a little bit. <laughs> right. with that, view. that is just a spectacular view. And boy, not to be outdone by that beautiful drive. This is not an easy hole to drive it on. No, it, 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 it's kind of serpentine, isn't it? It slithers its way out to the left and then back to the right and then around the corner back to the left. There's a lot of drives out here too, Ned, where I feel like as a player, you're not really sure if they're good. You know what I mean? They're looking at them like, I think that could be good. I need maybe a bounce or even two. And keep us clear of the trees. Give me another one, that's OB. Oh no. That's hit a tree, and John's convinced it's out of bounds. I. Oh, now there are people looking at it. It's I a good it's break. Right. Looks like John Rahm just got a huge break. It hit a tree and came back onto the course net. I'm almost certain I saw some spectators looking down at it. At least you can see the ball here for cameras. Any chance you think you can get it close? No. If he can keep it on the green, I think this is going to be a really good shot. Expect this on the back edge. It might be hard to keep a lawn dart on there somehow. Got to do that. Right. Oh, see there. Oh, no. 
Not sure what Philly Mick had in mind over there. One o two, Jay. What does he want to hit it? Beautiful look. He wants to. I think he wants to fly this ball about a hundred yards. It's going to cover. That'll take the the front bunker completely out of play. It'll take one big bounce net and come back to about ten or twelve feet. Had it a little bit. Oh, we're going to see a little something here. Oh, I thought he was going to go with the flashy flopper, but. Got the face pointed way left. He's going to have to swing it way right. That was pretty flamboyant in the end, wasn't it? Wow. That is just not that easy, Ned. That is not that easy. He's got a big grin. I would be grinning, too, if I couldn't hit that shot. As my daughter says, fancy. <laughs> She's eight. Fancy. That was fancy, Phil. You know what? how I would describe this fourth hole? It's only 408 yards. It's mostly downhill. Pesky. Mm. It's a pesky hole. It's, it's, it's way more demanding than meets the eye, Ned. Looked like Cameron had a pretty clean look at it here. Look at that ball just roll away, that whole location. The opportunity to be on course out here for PGA Two Alive, and it is a gorgeous spot. And I suppose if you're going to miss a cut, like perhaps Hudson Swafford, it looks like when we saw him this morning, he did not make the cut. It's not a bad spot to have a weekend off, I no. guess. It's either that or go home, but hey, there's plenty of things to entice you to stay. Well, Rom got a monster gift. Well, I saw that. Very, very fortunate. Can he take advantage of it, though? That's the question. Settle down, not too. Oh, it's out of bounds over the back of the screen, too. This fourth hole, this front hole location is. is mm. This really fourth given. hole, period. Mm -hmm. It's not even just about the pin placement, is it? It's uh, just very difficult to even keep the ball on the fairway, especially in the afternoons. It's, uh, there have been some tough holes. Let's Feel watch this putting stroke carefully because mm -hmm. for Cameron, it's well documented that it's this range, it's four to six feet, that can sometimes get just a little bit choppy. It's a little bit tricky angle really to see all the details of the stroke, but. Big high draw from Siwoo, maybe? That would be ideal. Keep coming. Pretty good lie. That was uh, tasty up and down. Wasn't it? <laughs> Homer. Let's see what he can do. Work it around the trees. There you go, that's got the right amount of draw, I think. Set all. Yeah, that was very, very well executed from Max. Nifty hole of the 15, you know you've got to take advantage of it. Well, John Rahm, fortunate to uh, keep this ball in play a couple of times, right, Ned? 
That was closer than I thought. I mean, it, it, that was three steps, yeah. maybe four. And those are backward steps, so they're not really as big as forward steps. Well, he's got the complete length of the green to, uh, to navigate all the way down to the hole, and it's going to be pretty quick as he waits for the nearby sixth tee box to clear. It's, it's kind of a tight golf course, the way it's laid out. The, the tees and greens, there's a couple of tees that are pretty close together, 13 and and number six. Pretty good look at his, his lie there, Jane. And it seemed to be kind of sitting down a little bit, but the, coming off the upslope, do they maybe cancel each other out? I, I think so. It's hard to tell, you know, really from our angle how much grass is behind the ball, but it doesn't look like a super dense lie to me. So I think he should be able to get a decent amount of club on the ball if he plays it back in his stance, which it appears that he's doing. Gonna hit down crisply. And that needs to settle big time. Okay. Cameron Champ working the left side of this tee box. He's using all of the width and that needs to get down. Almost hit it out of bounds yesterday here. Oh, that's pretty close again, I think. Hard to tell. Mickelson next. Well, what shape of shot is Phil going to go for here? Straight ball? Yeah, just a little fade. That looks like it should be a fairway finder. Oh, yeah. That, that was long. throttled. <laughs> that is. That was way a bomb, as Phil there. likes to say. That's right. He's hitting bombs. See Wu. He can show us the class of his short game here. Ooh, very, very nice. Fortunate to get a good lie there. He was right on the edge of that quite thick stuff. That had some speed on it. And that's gone a little too far right, I believe. I don't know that I would be standing over there if I were the gallery. Anywhere, right or left, you, you need hard hats in this area. I think like right behind the green would be a good spot. <laughs> I'm thinking the Casamigos Chalet is oh, the best spot. Absolutely, there's plenty of great spots to be had here at Silverado to observe the golf. Big swinger here for Max. Wow, what a good view. Well, that's what you talked about, right? The, the mountain effect. It, these players certainly know about it, but it's just hard to conceive it in your mind and then trust it. Yeah, it's hard. It, as Dennis has said many times uh, on our telecast, it's a course, it's a great set of greens that you learn. You don't really read them. You, you kind of gather it by experience over the years and uh, you know some players have just come right out like Zalatoris who's never seen this course and just figured it out but that's unusual Ram right, for the little chip in with the flag out definitely makeable oh yeah go 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 oh. Love the views we're getting from the camera guys. And we thank all of them and our Mike Ops as well for. Ron was fortunate in the end to make five, wasn't he? Mm, well, he had a couple of very good breaks. One in particular off the tee. And... Now, this is a delicate little one. Very quick from this point, going dead downhill away from the mountain. The high part of the valley is behind Siwu. Okay, easy birdie in the end for the former players champion. Those are the ones at home that we just pick up. <laughs> Downhill, five feet we left do? to right. Yeah, it's good, pick it up. I'm gonna play with you, Ned. <laughs> My circle of friendship is very big. It's a, it's a wide circle. Right, but it does come with the expectation that there's gonna be a reciprocal agreement when I have that putt. Indeed. 
Uh, we didn't see terribly many putts given at the Solheim Cup, did we? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we probably won't see too many next week at the Ryder Cup, and you know the President's Cup, the Ryder Cup, all these wonderful, uh, you know, intercontinent matches. So much fun to watch. Max Homer, great putt there. Well done. He's proven to be a monster on the par fives. Birdies him over half the time now.